Hey guys, welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to be mounting a life-size coyote. Uh, we're going to be going through the process of, uh, we've already got the form ready, we've got the hide ready, we're going to be going over putting the ear liners in, uh, getting the eyes set, and then actually mounting the uh, hide on the form. And uh, then we'll go about uh, mounting the form to the base here, which is a rock and a log. So uh, y'all stick around here, we're fixing to get started. Alright guys, first thing we're going to do is we got the hide and everything prepped and ready to go. Uh, we're going to be installing our ear liners. I took a stout rougher and uh, if you've watched my, uh, my deer mount video, uh, I take a stout rougher and I go in and I'll rough up the inside of these ear liners. And uh, once I do that, then I'll dip them down in lacquer thinner and that'll clean them up so that this uh, two-part epoxy ear liner adhesive will stick to them. I've already got the other ear done and for time purposes I'm just going to show you how to do one. Uh, like I said, if you watch the, uh, the other video, it's, pretty, it's all pretty much the same process, it's just a little bit smaller ear. I've already got my uh, two-part epoxy mixed up. I've got it slid down into the ear of this coat. And all I'm going to do once I get my glue in there, I'm going to come back, take my ear liner, and just work it up in here and try not to get in this glue on the hide because this stuff it will wash out but it's just uh, it'll make your mouth look a whole lot better if you ain't got this residue stuck in into the hair we're just going to work it up inside here once we get it worked all the way to the tip we're going to work this epoxy around inside here and make sure we got uh, even coverage inside here. You want to keep a, a damp rag on hand so if you do get it on your hands you want to make sure you keep it cleaned off because before you know it you'll done grab a hold of this here and you'll have it all in the hair. Alright guys, we got the ear liner put in. Now all we got to do is go over it. Uh, make sure we got our seams and everything right here on the ears lined up, you got any glue that has uh, got on the hair, just get you a wet paper towel and clean it off. You just want to make sure you get it off and get it cleaned up before that that uh, epoxy sets up. And once it sets up, it's done. You're not going to get it out unless you pull the hair out. So we got her pretty much shaped up. Got her where we want her here. I don't know if it'll pick up in this video. It's, it's a, a real rare coyote. It's, I mean, you can see it's almost jet black. It's got a white patch on its chest here. It's going to make a real pretty mount. So we're going to we're gonna let this uh, epoxy set up. And then once we, this sets up, we're going to move on to uh, actually mounting the hide on the form. So y'all uh, stick around. We'll get started on the mounting process here in a few minutes. Alright guys, for uh, time purposes, I went ahead and slipped the hide over this coat, got his tail wire and everything in, uh, got his feet roughed in. I'm going to take now and start pulling him together and uh, start sewing his body up. We'll get his body sewed up and then we'll set the eyes and uh, we'll set the face, get his lips stuffed in, get the nose set. So uh, y'all just hang around here, we're going to start putting this thing together and sewing it up. And I'll try to finish it up tonight. You just gotta take your time work the skin over these feet. A lot of times these forms they got they got these half toes, it'll be like the half knuckle there, about where the knuckle is on your hand. Yeah, it's kind of tight getting the skin over it. Once we get the skin over these feet, we'll take our clay, we'll go in here with critter clay, and we'll rebuild the, uh, the toes and toe pads and everything out of clay. If you're wondering what all these strings are right here, all these were tied on during the uh, skinning process and once these are get tied on like this when you get rid of mount it it helps line the hide back up because you can just go around and find your strings tie them all together and then you can sew your incisions in between them 
It makes the sewing process a whole lot faster. All right, I'm gonna move it over here on the stand. We'll finish it up. All right, guys, we got the, uh, the body kind of stitched together here. Just got it closed up just enough to hold the skin in place and kind of line all the uh, hair patterns up and everything here on the body. So now we're going through and we're going to finish sewing up these legs and down the back of the feet and then we'll put the clay in and in the toes. Once we get the clay in the toes, then we'll actually mount the, we'll set the form on the base and get the feet and everything set the way they need to do. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put the eyes in and we'll tuck the lip and the nose and we'll be done with it and have to just let it dry down and do the finish work. So y'all hang around here, we're going to get her sewed up. It's the uh, second day, um, so we're gonna go in here. We did a lot of sewing on this coat last night. We'll come in here today and finish sewing up the legs. And uh, once we get the legs sewed up, get the clay put in the feet, get the uh, bottom of the feet sewed up, then we're gonna move on to the face. We'll install the eyes, get the ears set, tuck the nose and the lips on the mouth, and uh, we'll be done, and it'll be ready to dry down and get ready for the finish work. So y'all just uh, stick around here. We're gonna get her sewed together.
just gonna make sure that you work this high down this leg and just pull these seams together and it'll help your seam, it'll help it go together a whole lot easier. It won't pull your thread, it won't rip your thread through the skin. Once we get that sewed up down through there, we're gonna take tie this off.
And that finishes up that leg and got that foot all sewed up. We've already got our clay packed in our toes here, so all we gotta do now is finish the body and get her set on the base. Alright guys, we got this coyote all sewed up, so now we're going to, I've already set the tail. Um, I'm going to set the eyes and clay, and once I get that done, we can go ahead and finish the face up. Tuck the lips, tuck the nose, and set the ears, and we'll be done waiting for it to dry down. So y'all just stick around here and let's get this thing put together. What I'm using here is a uh, 18 millimeter coyote eye. There's what it looks like. I'm using critter clay to install these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this eye and I'm gonna take me a little bit of clay and put it in the back of it to hold it in. Then I'll go ahead and sculpt the eyelids around it. It don't take but just a little small amount of clay to finish sculpting this eye right here. That's about all there is to setting an eye on the coat. I'm going to go ahead and continue the process on the other side and I'm start tucking it in.
like any predator, your back corner on your eye is going to be higher than the front corner. So you just got to look at reference pictures to make sure you get all that set right. I'm going to put some hide paste on this face and we'll go ahead and start putting it together. What I like to do is take a pin on the front corner of this eye and pin it in place. Once you lock this front corner in with a pin, you won't have no trouble about it. it should most of the time it'll line right all your eye skin should get pretty close to lining up. do is take my little pick tool and I, I use the tuck method I'll go around here and I'll tuck this eyelid into the clay
you want to try to clean this glue off this eye now because once it dries it's hard you have to scrape it off so i always just try to clean and work as i go as i'm tucking i'm steadily trying to clean plus it makes it easier to kind of get everything set too you ain't got that glue on there kind of messing with the way the uh the detail of the eye i can tell more about it if that glue's off of there i can kind of get an idea of where my eye needs to be You want to make sure your eyes are symmetrical. Make sure they're both the same size as you're doing this. You always want to make sure you, I mean, you spend a little extra time on the eyes because the eyes makes a, a mouth. And that's the life of it. If them eyes look like they're alive, then your rest of it's going to flow and take care of itself. Check your whiskers, make sure they're lined up, your hair pattern, make sure they're lined up. that's gonna do it right there all right now we're gonna go ahead and tuck our nose get all that tucked in place and then we'll be ready to uh, do the map
I always like to take a little bit of paper towel. Because like you've seen, if you watch my deer video, I'll roll it up and stick it in this nostril. And that'll keep the nose nostril open while it dries. Got everything finished up on it. We got the uh, mouth tucked, the eyes set, got the ear set, got the nose tucked in. 
As you can see, I just used the, uh, my air dryer here to flop up the air and get it kind of drying down. Um, we'll let it dry about, probably about two to three weeks, then we'll do the finish work, and uh, then this will be ready to go. So uh, I just want to tell y'all, if you hadn't hit the subscribe button, just go ahead and hit it and hit that little bell up there. That'll give you a notification when I got more videos up and running on our channel. Uh, and if you would, hit the like button. Uh, y'all, thanks for watching, and God bless.